I'm interested in knowing what 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 you what, what you consider to be uh, uh, the, the decentralized fundamental pillars of health. If our audience should have a takeaway from this, this podcast, what are the most fundamental things they can do to optimize their health in an optimal way? Okay, if you're scared. If you're Scandinavian, this is there's going to be a little change. The answer I always give to this question on every podcast is never not see a sunrise ever again. You must see the sunrise. The caveat for Scandinavians, if you can see the sunrise, make sure that you get in cold during when the sunrise should be there. Why? Because when you're in the cold, you will make light stronger than the sun inside of you. You guys have the ability to do that all the time so that's like what i would say 1a is for everybody always see the sunrise 1b for scandinavians if you live let's say 51st latitude or above where all the neanderthals died and where homo sapiens survived embrace the cold embrace it like you can't imagine and and you take your jacket off do not wear the big uh uh thing that jacob had on i want you to be in a t-shirt and shorts like uncle jack was in up in in your neck of the woods you got you guys would be stunned how i i told my nurse this i said these are my people i live the way my people should all the people i saw that they thought i was crazy and i told them i said the truth is told you're crazy i'm the one that's doing it right that's what i want jacob and mads to tell the people in scandinavia embrace the cold even if you cannot get the sun Because the program inside of you as a Viking is to make the light that you don't get from the sun. That's the story. And that can be made within. Yeah. That's a good takeaway. And also ground. Walk with no f- shoes. Fuck shoes. Right. Well, you know, you know, I always tell Jacob people make like the Sphinx. Unfortunately, the Sphinx story doesn't go good in Scandinavia. But the Sphinx looks to the east, right, to the sun. All four extremities on the ground. Why? Because we have ecrine sweat glands on our hands and our feet. We're the only primate that has that. You know why? Because you're designed to get free electrons from the earth. So if you can do that when you have the snow on the ground, Jacob and Mads, Uncle Jack is 100% about that. I just don't want you to get frostbite. I hope these things for your audience begin to resonate. I hope people you know, go back and read some of the original stuff that I wrote. I want people to know. This has been going on for 20 years. This isn't new because I just talked to Rick and you. I want you to know that the story of human biology is really 3.8 billion years old. And I will take you all the way back and explain to you why we work the way we do. The physics of organisms is what decentralization is about. And proof of work should be seen in every single reflection of any advice you get. If there is no evidence of proof of work, it's proof of stake, you reject it. That is centralized bullshit. You're going to get taken advantage of. If you follow that one little rule, you will be superhuman. You will be like the American Indian. You will be like the Viking. You will be like the Sherpa. You will be the wild, silly talking monkey you were designed to be. Mm-hmm. Can you can you give an example of that? Because sometimes I know that proof of work and proof of stake and Bitcoin and stuff. Uh, but in, for instance, in science, what, what would I look for? Well, I'll give you simple. Look, look right behind me. You see this right here? This is this is chlorophyll. What's the proof of work? The tree has to stay out in the sun to take CO2 and water, suck the CO2 and water in, use sunlight to change it. There's work being done to make the mango. There's work being done to make the coconut, okay? In your case, when you go outside, Jacob, and you're in the cold, how do you make the light, UV light to infrared light? Proof of work is you had to take your physiology outside, connect to the earth, embrace the cold so your mitochondria can uncouple, make huge amounts of heat to offset it, while inside the melanin sheets in you are absorbing all the VUV light you make. It takes proof of work to make that. You can't do that if you stay inside in front of your computer watching Jerry Springer or whatever the <laughs> hell you guys watch in Scandinavia. Okay? That's proof of stake bullshit. It's not that hard, Jacob, to understand. It's not. I promise you. It's all around you. The problem is every time you make a mistake, 
Windex on your glass eyes. Say, I need to look at this like a wild human. This is what I tell people. Uh, I don't have to teach lions and hippos quantum mechanics. Why? Because they live by nature. They totally live by nature. So they do what they're supposed to do. I want you as the human animal to do what you're supposed to do. 